hi welcome to my youtube channel let's get to the first video i already had my hair braided down so all i did was add some eco styler gel to my edges to lay them down this wig has two combs one on the side part and one in the back and it does have the adjustable strap so you can tighten the wig or loosen it if you choose to so what i like to do is you know the nape always gets tangled the quickest I like to take a comb and just do like this i don't comb it all the way out i just detangle the back like this we're going to do the rest of the detangling once the wig gets on just like to do that to the nape of the wig just to get the roots untangled first which is kind of backwards when we do our natural hair get my wig cap and I put it on three-fourths of my head and you want to get the skin tone so the part can look as natural as possible you grab the wig and make sure the when you're holding it forward make sure the part is on the side that you want it on and make sure the back is right here in front of your face and then you just put it on then you want to line it up with the part that you already made then pull this comb in the front and put it under make sure it's tight and I personally don't like to use the comb in the back the way my foundation is because it irritates my head so what I do next is I just split the hair in half and I start detangling with my fingers because we know synthetic weeds they love to get tangled so I just detangle as much with my fingers as possible you see the curl pattern back here is almost out but that's okay because it won't be seen this process takes about five minutes at the most it's not really that bad but i do this every day after i put on my wig and i don't do it at night time I wait till the morning until I put the wig on just so you can make the wig last longer and you don't do too much detangling and it's thin it's not really that bad today I noticed that when I stay in the heat and the sun all day with this wig that's when it gets the most tangled and I don't lay on my wig. As soon as I get back to my dorm, I take it off. And when I get home too, I just like for my head to be free. And this is from one side of the hair, which is not too bad because this wig is really, really thick. And I have been wearing this wig for about a week. So, it's great. I picked up this wig from my local beauty supply store and I will link all the details about the wig in the description box below. And now, oh, I didn't even show you. This is how much that was shared from this side of my hair. And now, I'm going to wear it down. Because we don't want to sew it because we want to take it down when we get back. 
So, what I do is I like to put one on this side. And you want to make sure the groovy part is on this gap and not the straight part. Then we're gonna put three on this side. Even though it's a cone right here, I like for it to be tight. So we're gonna make sure our lace is above our cap. And it is. Top of that. Then one midway. That one's tight. Then I like to put this one over here because it like bothers my ear sometimes. So I kind of like to push that lace up like that. And you can't see them. So that is fine. Let's play with it and yeah. That's it, and I did for when I first got this wig. I did um, add a little bit of concealer to the part, and I did um, take some eyeliner and make the density match my hairline a little bit better. And if you want to see a video like that, just give this video a thumbs up, and I will do that video for you.